This presentation is about the engineer Henry Moseley and his vital influence on the machining and tooling industry. Three main topics will be discussed. First, a closer look will be taken at the differences between modern and historic machining methods. Second, details into Henry Moseley's early life will be shared. Finally, recognition will be given to his most influential and revolutionary achievements. To begin, today's machining industry has a high reputation for precision and consistency. Take for example the production of pistons for internal combustion engines. The process requires high precision for a smooth fit and also high consistency so that many identical pistons can be produced. To better describe the modern machining process, take note of the methods used in a typical metalworking lathe. Both the working part and working tool are mechanically constrained. Precise motion of the working tool is achieved by using measuring instruments such as a bench micrometer. The lathe is designed for mechanized production, which is very different from historical production. As one could guess, much freehand work went into the production of parts prior to the Industrial Revolution. Henry Moseley is considered one of the main developers and unifiers of machining methods and practices necessary to mass produce. He was born in 1771 in Woolwich, England. At the age of 12, he was already working at the local royal arsenal. By the age of 18, Henry was experienced in blacksmithing and carpentry and was working for a locksmith named Joseph Brahma. The job was to manufacture the world's first pick-resistant locks. These locks remained unpickable for 67 years. In 1798, Henry opened his own engineering shop. Three key principles used in his shop were precision, standardization, and mechanization. Henry increased precision by developing measuring tools and instruments. He personally built a bench micrometer capable of measuring lengths to within ten thousandths of an inch. He also developed a refined method for producing master plane gauges that could be used to easily check the flatness of part faces. Standardization was the principle most needed in Henry's time, especially when it came to the production of bolts and nuts. Surprising as it is, historical bolts and nuts were not interchangeable. This is because they were machined by hand and lacked consistency. To solve this, Henry developed a screw-cutting lathe. The lathe gained popularity due to its simplicity and precision and became widely used by other shops. This led to interchangeability between bolts and nuts. The final and overarching principle used in Henry's shop was mechanization. A clear benefit of applying this principle was a reduction in labor costs and efforts. As an example, Henry designed and built 43 machines capable of producing pulleys for the royal dockyards. Each of these machines was able to replace the efforts of 100 skilled workers. The goal of this presentation was to bring attention to Henry Moseley's key role in developing the machining and tooling industry. As was seen, many key changes came about from applying the principles of precision, standardization, and mechanization. Henry Mousley was indeed a man before his time and whose influence remains in the machine shops of today.